there comes a time in Destiny 2 where players deem an exotic to be truly broken. Whether that be the explosive power that warlocks have had over the past year with Starfire Protocol, to the thunderous power of chucking nades on titans with Heart of Inmost Light, even having hunters being able to have consistent volatile rounds with Gyro Falcon chest piece. There truly has been a lot of broken exotics over the lifespan of Destiny, but with the brand new Season of the Deep brought along three new exotics for each class. Ladies and gentlemen, I think Bungie messed up with giving us this exotic. I like to call it the AC-130 landing strip helmet because it looks like you could land anything on the long tarmac of the head of its head and you know i'm probably talking about the cenotaph mask that's the new exotic warlock helmet i believe this warlock helmet will be the ultimate heavy ammo creation machine if your team runs it and all the high-end end game activities even beating out the exotic that everyone knows and loves and allow me to explain and go into more detail for you brief description of what the exotic does steadily reloads portion of your equipped trace rifle magazine from reserves so works really well with div but you don't need to use div when you damage a boss or a champion with a trace rifle it marks the target when your allies defeat the marked target special ammo is generated for you and heavy ammo for your allies so the warlock gets back special for their weapons and heavy for their teammates i do want to point out if you are using the trace rifle please don't get the final kill on the champion or whatever you're marking because the ammo won't drop. So kind of stop shooting right before it dies. So now let's talk about what its competitor uses and Swift's. And you have the Sect of Insight mod slotted. When you use a finisher on an elite, you generate special ammo for your fire team. When you use a finisher on a boss or a mini boss, you generate heavy ammo for your fire team. Now, again, these are great together. They actually stack when you mark the target with the Warlock, hitting the trace rifle and highlighting the target. Any character with Sect of Insight and Swift's on can run up and hit a finisher and generate double bricks. Now, what is the pros and cons of running this? Me personally, I think more Cenotaph, the better. Helping people in endgame, I've always said, hey, if you could put Aeons on and make me heavy, that'd be great, but really, I'm just hurting myself there because I'm counting on my teammates to run up, hit finishers, make sure no one's stunning champions. You know what I'm saying? How you like stun a champion, do some damage, then you're going to stun it again. And right before you hit the stun, your teammate dies because they're going in for a finisher. It's kind of just like a chore to me. It feels like, hey, don't kill the next champion. We need heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's like the con for me on it. It's just like, you know, having to like really worry about when you're hitting a finisher, when you're not, instead of just having a Warlock with the Cenotaph helmet on and shooting a trace rifle and guaranteeing that the brick will drop for you and your fire teams. So literally, if you go into the next room and you're like, hey, this next room has three champions in it, that's pretty much telling me to use my heavy the whole room. Kill all the adds with my heavy, kill all the majors with my heavy, kill the champions with my heavy and keep steam rolling. Multiple Warlocks with this helmet on is really good as well. You can have like two Cenotaph Warlocks and the third class could be whatever. An Arc Hunter. Hell, you can even run the, the Arc Warlock build that's crazy right now with Vesper. You know what I'm saying? Like just to have one person like Ed clearing. But that's another point I want to make. You don't need to run well when you're running Cenotaph. You can run whatever class you want. So maybe you have the Warlock just being a full heavy ammo generator. Have them run Cenotaph, but have them also run Strand and suspend targets so people can hit finishers with Aeons. It's kind of just up to you of how much build crafting you want to go into. I just feel like this helmet has made endgame so much easier. I don't have to sit here and worry about ammo dropping, you know, putting heavy ammo finder on my helmets. I can put on different mods on my helmets to increase potency of my build and stack those ashes up or hands-on or dynamo or whatever I want to run with my build. But just being able to just not worry and just saying hey maybe you don't want to run div you don't have to run div it just needs to be any trace rifle you can rock the strand trace rifle you can rock whatever you want and what's nice is with the warlock you're pretty much always getting back ammo when you get the kill as well when you rock the perk it's going to drop you special you could stack this with special finisher as well you can finish ads and get make sure that you never run out of trace ammo and you can also run double special on your warlock and then have heavy for yourself run a machine gun run a trace you know if, let's just say you run a div and then the kinetic slot run like something like riptide one way is not better than the other but me personally i'm leaning towards people should really start running cenotaph if you don't have it you you should invest in it just trying it out and just being like maybe you don't want to run it but you can be like hey you know if you guys got cenotaph you want to put it on and try it out mark it with trace i'll slay out because what i want to point out is most of the time that you know back in the day when i did gm's helps 
I would sit there and ask people to run Aeons, but maybe they died or maybe we didn't kill ads good enough and we weren't getting heavy or we are counting on you know too many people to do their job all at once sometimes i had to like flip the uno card i had to run aeons and i had to make sure that my teammates always had heavy but then you know how it is helping people through gms some people might not use their heavy when they need to you know they're like scared to run out of ammo but they don't realize that you're just going to generate ammo non-stop but simply with cenotaph that doesn't happen because i think if you kill 10 champions in a gm in multiple rooms you know if you kill three in the first room three in the next you're pretty much going to get a heavy brick eight out of the 10 times depending on the cooldown of it obviously you know i have seen us kill champions three in a row and get three heavy ammo bricks then sometimes it was two out of three but again it's just really really showcasing how strong this helmet is i want to know what you guys think have you been using it in your runs uh maybe you haven't got it yet maybe you're on the fence about it but i'm just letting you know that playing into the surges and overcharge weapons if Bungie keeps this next season, I mean, Cenotaph is literally going to be the meta for any rating. Like, let's just say that the raid that they're bringing back has champions. I mean, that you know for a fact you could run, let's just say you're on a Warlock and you're running Sunbracers and you're killing a lot of ads. A champion comes out, just switch to Cenotaph real quick. Mark the target, make heavy ammo, all the day. You know, day one rating, when you're counting on your teammates to hit finishers, I remember Warpriest. Warpriest day one, you had to make sure that you were hitting multiple finishers with Aeons on certain enemies enemies throughout dps phases because we were running out of heavy and that dps was a huge dps check so again just wanted to point out some good pros and cons for each hopefully you guys can incorporate this into your build let me know if you've been running it but i just wanted to make a video and let you know this is busted and yeah i can't tell you enough let me know what you guys think about cenotaph versus aeons or if you're running both let me know what you guys are running i'll read the comments thanks for tuning in to the video and i'll see you guys next time peace